Hi, my name's Chris Jones and I work for Trafford Music Service. Alongside Mr Thomas and Mr Fitton, we're hoping to give you a video to showcase all the different brass instruments that you can learn through the Trafford Music Service. So Mr Thomas is going to start us off and he's going to tell us all about upper brass. Hello, I'd like to introduce some of the brass instruments to you now, but first of all, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how all brass players play all of the instruments from the family. They're all played in exactly the same way. What we need to do is create a vibration using our lips, and we do that by blowing a raspberry that sounds a little bit like this. If I do exactly the same thing into this part, which is called the mouthpiece, we get a slightly different sound. But then if I plug my mouthpiece into my instrument like that and do exactly the same thing again, hopefully you'll hear the sound of my instrument. So the first instrument I'd like to introduce you to is this one. This one is my trumpet and you'll recognise the trumpet because it's quite a narrow, small instrument and um, this trumpet uh, and other trumpets indeed are found in orchestras and big bands and the trumpet's quite recognisable for having a bright and brilliant sound. I'm going to play a little piece that you may or may not recognise to show off some of that brilliance of the trumpet sound. show you one of the other instruments now and it's this one here this one is called the cornet the cornet as you can see is slightly shorter and slightly wider but actually the length of tubing is exactly the same as that of the trumpet that I just played for you the cornet is usually found in traditional British brass bands and um, cornet players like to show off how fast they can play I'm going to play a little piece called Hailstorm for you now to show off some fast notes and also to give you an idea of the difference in the tone of the cornet So that gave you an idea of how cornet players like to play really, really fast. I'm going to play a piece that you will recognise now to show off the warmth and the richness of the cornet sound. You'll definitely recognise this one. Can you tell me what it is? Thank you very much. I'm going to hand you over to one of my colleagues who's going to introduce some of the other instruments from the brass family. Thank you, Mr Thomas. Now, a lot of what Mr Thomas has spoken about so are, are the fundamentals of playing a brass instrument. So the buzzing on the mouthpiece, we take that, we apply it all across the board. Um, the breathing techniques are really, really important. They're key fundamentals to playing any brass instrument. I'm going to start talking a bit about the middle of the brass family. Um, you've all probably heard of the French horn. This is only a baby French horn, um, I don't play the French horn, French horn is not my main instrument, but I wanted to show you what a French horn looks like in case you haven't seen it. Now there's two main differences with a French horn, first is the, vol the valves, so these are rotary valves, so they're a little bit different to the piston valves that you've seen on the trumpet and the cornet, and the second is how we hold it, so you'll notice with the trumpet and the cornet that the bell faces outwards and our sound travels forward, but with the French horn we hold it with our, hand, our right hand underneath and the the sound travels backwards. It's a beautiful instrument, the French horn. Um, top quality people play the French horn. Our head of service, um, it's okay for to have me say that because she plays the French horn. Um, but yeah, lovely instrument. An orchestral instrument primarily found in orchestras. I really want to show you 
and then a brass instrument that's gone up a bit extinct really but it's my favorite instrument and that's the tenor horn so you're probably thinking what's tenor horn so a tenor horn is a brass band instrument primarily found in brass bands the tenor horn sits in the middle of a brass band and as you can see brass instruments do look relatively the same you can sort of figure out what's what so we've still got the mouthpiece which is just a little bit bigger than a trumpet and a cornet mouthpiece we've got three valves but we're back to the piston valves and the bell points upwards so our sound travels up um, I really love the tenor horn because of the sound it makes it's got a really lovely mellow sound and we've got to get it back in fashion again. I love the tenor horn. I'm gonna play you a little bit of Somewhere Over the Rainbow so you can hear the lovely tone of the tenor horn. <laughs> Mr Fitton. Mr Fitton's going to talk a little bit more about the lower brass. So here is the trombone. Fantastic. It is longer, it is bigger and therefore it tends to play lower. Okay, I'm going to play a little sound of the trombone and it's got this amazing feature that none of the other brass instruments have got and it's called a slide and I'm going to show you how that works. <laughs> And if we move the slide up, the sound and the pitch goes higher. So have a listen. A great feature of the trombone. Now, what I'd like to do is play you a little piece of music called the acrobat. And it shows that sliding effect as the acrobats go from the trapeze and, and go up in the air and then land. So see if you can imagine what's going on in the circus when you're listening to this piece. Thank you so much Mr Fitton for that. Now obviously there's a, a lot of other brass instruments that we've not touched upon. Me, Mr Fitton, Mr Thomas, we don't have every brass instrument ever made in our homes because obviously we are doing this from home. Um, hopefully you've learnt a little bit more if you didn't know about brass instruments you've learnt from that or you just heard the sound differences, the pitch differences and things like that. There's a lot of other brass teachers at Trafford Music Service. We are not a team of three. There's quite a few of us. We've got French horn specialists. Um, more upper brass specialist, lower brass, um, so we're actually a really really strong team at Trafford. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I know it's a bit funny seeing us all coming from different zones. The last thing I'm going to speak about is the different ensembles that you can be in if you do learn to play a brass instrument at Trafford Music Service. The best thing about playing an instrument that is a social instrument is the ensemble aspect everyone loves playing as part of the team so if you're a beginner you start off in our beginner brass band which is led by Mr Fitton. Mr Fitton has led this ensemble for a very long time and it's a really mighty team at the minute I think they've got about 30 children which is amazing. Um, you don't have to start in beginner brass band there's also a junior wind band which I lead. The difference between the brass band and the wind band is that I obviously have wind instruments as well so we're joined by flutes clarinets, we've got some saxophones and big percussion section. So there are two sort of beginner ensembles, junior ensembles. Once you have gained a certain grade on your instrument or you're playing at a certain level, you move up. So for both ensembles, brass band and junior wind band, you'll move up into intermediate wind band, which is run by Mrs Swales. That sort of looks at obviously more complex music, but you're still playing with the children that you started off with right at the beginning. And then once we've left intermediate wind band, there's all sorts of places you can go. You can go to Jazz Ensemble, which is amazing. You can go up into our many orchestras. So we've got Saturday Morning Orchestra, which I lead, which is available for from beginner, so grade, no grades, up to grade five. And we're a bit of a mixed ensemble. Or we've got Symphonia. Um, we have got the Philharmonic. The Philharmonic's our sort of... Um, 
highest ensemble, if you will. We've got some really talented children in there and, and that's where we aim for. There's so many different ensembles for you at the music service. So even if you're a bit like, oh, you know, a bit boring practicing by yourself, just get yourself down to one of the ensembles because they are the best thing about learning to play a brass instrument or any instrument at all is getting to do it alongside other children. Thank you very much for listening. Again, I hope you've learned something or if not, you just got to watch something in your day. Um, hopefully we will see you soon. I know Mr Fitton, Mr Thomas and I are really missing those who we teach and those in our ensembles. So we hope you are staying nice and safe, nice and well and we'll see you as soon as we can.